Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Starbound in our continued USC adventures. When we last left off, we had just started what I believe is the final campaign of the mission. And now, uh, yeah, we're gonna ride this fancy vehicle uh, through this place. I, I do have uh, one small one small confession to make, and that is that I accidentally went through this part. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so... There's gonna be a few codexes that we've actually already read that we'll probably be, uh, just kinda very quickly skipping through. Boing. Anyway, yeah. I do like this particular part of the... the mission, though, because we can kinda just... you know, race our way through here. And we don't actually have to stop and fight everything. Which I think is... kind of a cool feature. Woo! Oh yeah. I mean, this is kind of cool, because you don't really get to ride vehicles all that often. I mean, you you do at times, but... Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Oh. Let's, uh, yeah, just land for a second there so we can get our bearings. This might not be the best time to... We've, you know what? We've got enough pixels. We don't... We don't... <laughs> okay, that's... That is gonna get stuck in here. So we won't worry about that. What we will do, however, is uh, grab ourselves a little stim here so we can rush through. There we are. All right, let's see. I mean, just going through these sealed, sealed uh, metro lines. Interestingly enough, also, by the way, I was reading uh, Codex. I'm not sure how, how newly added it was, though it was new to me. And I guess uh, the storyline is getting rewritten a little bit, so that um, I guess most of the story is, uh, it, I guess it's sort of like reworking the lore for Mars, so instead of having been terraformed, it'll have been, it'll, uh, I guess, be a bit more Metro-like in the sense that, yeah, everything's going to exist in, like, underground Metro lines and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. I've got to say, and I look forward to seeing what that'll look like. All right, so let us navigate these dank and dark sewers, or I guess this was going to become a um, metro line of some sort, but they never finished, unfortunately, before the war broke out, and now here we are, and that's my last stim, so, whoop, ow. A little bit of a bump there. Very twisting. Oop, a lot of poison down here, too. So we should probably be a little mindful of that. As one would expect, of course. And even though we are kind of just racing through, which is exactly what I did uh, on my own uh, initial run through this, I mean, it is a pretty nifty looking place, isn't it? But again, lots of poison. Though I'm pretty sure I'm, myself, I'm personally immune to poison, but our companions aren't, so let's just keep running in the hopes of, uh, you know, not letting them die, because we don't want that to happen. That would be terrible. All right, and this is the end of the line. So I guess now we can, and in fact, now we're starting to run to enemies again, so. Let us make our way up to the surface, as one does, of course. Since we're still trying to get into, just as a recap of where we were last time, trying to get into the Odin Flacterm, which is a base thing of some sort. Like a heavily fortified bunker type location that I guess appears to fuel and supply this particular section of the rebels, uh, or, yeah, that's what they're calling themselves, rebels, aren't they? Well, they are rebels. We're the loyalists. We're, we're the good guys. We're on the right side of history, possibly, maybe, probably. Hopefully. Hopefully we're on the right side of history. I really like those explosive effects. Nicely built. Yeah, we don't need to go this way. Come on, fellas, let's run. We could spend time fighting those tanks, but, you know. 
They were explicitly designed for the purposes of saying, hey, you know, you, uh, you don't want to fight these things. Uh, where is my gun? You're not getting to the flak term, not on my watch. I'm going to turn you into a sauerkraut pie. Oh, sir. That's just not true. Also, Rex, hold on a second here. Rex on, uh, or I guess Feta on, uh, whatever you would call this thing. Nicely done. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, he, he doesn't have, he's got nothing on us. Look at that. The Theta always triumphs. Except when it doesn't. Oh, a little bit of lag there. At some point, I tell myself, I am going to upgrade my CPU and maybe the motherboard as well. I think my motherboard might also be a bit of a, a bit of a bottleneck for operations here. Maybe even a new graphics card at some point. But these are, these are, you know, nice to have things, but not things that are an immediate priority. And, whoop. And down he goes. Nicely done, sir. And of course, we gotta thank Azzy for being awesome with the rocket launcher he's got. Nifty, nifty. All right, and let's uh, keep on rocking then, shall we? I love the boss fights in this. I love the music too. It's always so fitting. So very fitting in its way. All right, so here we are entering the enemy base. The Odin Flactrum entrance. You can enter immediately before, or you should enter immediately before additional forces arrive. That does sound like a good idea. All right. And here we go. All right. Moving on then. Rebel troops are flooding in back towards the Flakderm. You might want to get a move on. All right, advice taken, Sail. In fact, yeah, we can kind of see them wandering around over there. The Flakderm is heavily reinforced with concrete. There's no way to destroy the Flakderm from the outside. Search around and maybe you can find a way to destroy it. I mean, uh, there's all these valves, and if history has taught me anything, it's that if you switch all the valves in the right direction, things can light up. And lighting thing- don't close the doors behind me, guys. Someday I will actually get around to doing something about that, but that day will not be today. You know, that's a good question, friend. When will the war end? Short-range scanners are picking up large quantities of flammable gas flowing within these pipes, calculating possible method of flak term destruction. See, I was already on top of that. I told you, you just flip the switches, and sooner or later, things get explodinating. Alright, we've opened up a new path for ourselves. We can also knock those bowling pins over, as is tradition. We're gonna be able to set up our own bowling alley, honestly, at the rate we're going. Let's see, I've calculated a plan to destroy the Flakderm. These valves only change the flow of the gas. You should be able to seal the pipes from the control room. Okay, so we move all the gas into one location, then we seal it, then everything explodes. Sounds good to me. Kinda wondering what uh, these are, like missile loading tubes or something? Or maybe uh, supply elevators. It may be possible to seal the pipes while still forcing the gas flow through them. If you can find the control room and close off the flow, the pressure will eventually blow up the flak drum. Interesting. And this is about as far as I got uh, before I realized I wasn't actually recording, so... Just to sum up some of the codexes that we can find along the way here, uh, basically, the enemy... Uh, is aware of the potential danger. In fact, uh, one of the engineers 
responsible for for building this place uh, noted that it was foolish the way the uh, pipes were being installed. Oh, there we go. There's how we get in. Place is kind of built like a maze, which I believe is intentional, because I know they built medieval cities like very explicitly to be like mazes for a, um, a similar reason. It would make it more difficult. Oh, hello. Made it more difficult for the enemy if that... Uh, Okay, guys, get out of the way. This must be the control room. Once you've shut off the pipes, the pressure will rapidly build up and eventually cause a tumultuous explosion. So, you know, make sure we've got everything we need. All right. Got some uh, sweet loot, some button pressy things, and now it's time for the grand escape scene. All right then, time for the big escape scene where we get the heck out of here in totally one piece. It's a shame I couldn't just bust down the uh, front door. You know what? We don't have time for you. Where's Azzy? Did, that, did Azzy die on us? You better not. What? Why are the doors not opening, man? Why are the doors not opening? Oh, God. That's not right. Um, okay, so that opened that door. Okay, I mean, there might- maybe there's just a delay. Could be. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's not waste any time here. Okay, that door didn't open. Boopity boop. Okay, that door did. There we go. Friendo is friendoing, as friendos tend to do. There we go. We got this. We got this. We got that. Getting the heck out of here. In a, a very timely manner. Hey, this is your getaway pilot, Lickdove. What do you need? Just kidding. I'll be at the flak term entrance. Don't keep me waiting, or you'll kill us both. Oh, Lickdove, I would rather not kill us both, so... Make a very convincing argument there. For getting the heck out of here in a timely fashion. Uh, except we do have a minor problem. The doors are not opening now. Why are the doors not opening? Um, I am mildly concerned by this development. Yeah, that door's not opening either. Okay, now this one's open. So, do I have to return all the knobs? Or maybe I was misunderstanding. Maybe during the first part of the mission, we didn't need to turn the dials. It was only after that we're supposed to be turning the dials on our way out. Which is a little confusing to me, but alright. If that is the way she is. Then I'll just make sure we uh, turn every lever and knob as we make our escape here. Because there's no way in the high holy hells that I am going to die. Oh, the rebels are surrounding the flak drum. Hurry up. Okay, I'm, I'm doing my best, man. Um... Um... Okay. Okay, that way. That way. Okay, that was the right way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There we go, okay. Got no time for you, man! We don't have much t oh, 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 we're gonna make it. We're totally gonna make it unless this door for some reason doesn't work, which would suck. On to the retreat! Alright, another, uh, moving mission. Nice. Oh, okay, crazy stuff, huh? Good thing you're still alive. I still need you for something later. Yep, more jobs, heh <laughs> More jobs, you say? Alright, we got a trophy, teleporter core. Read a little bit about enemy foot soldiers. Rebel foot soldiers are part of the Rebels' frontline military corps. These soldiers are deployed in high-risk areas that lack the trench-heavy environments that the trench soldiers excel at. Wearing thicker uniforms, carrying more heavy equipment, and conditioned to getting shot at, these are tougher but slower than the trench soldiers. Their technology level isn't much more advanced than the trench soldiers, however. First type of Rebel soldiers, as usual, standard infantry. 
Yeah, we've also got the flamethrower unit, the elite unit, <clears throat> almost in uh, almost indistinguishable from regular units. They will always be wielding a Rigatti rifle and have a slightly higher tolerance to shots than the basic infantry. Their presence is purely marked by their Rigatti rifle. Gotcha. All right. Well, mission accomplished. Flak term flares can't alarm. Blah, blah, blah. Campaign complete. Speak to Sarge to finish the quest line for the Sarge quest line. All right, and then we go speak to Sarge. And we made it. All right. Well, Sarge, we did it. Destroy the Odin Flakterm. Our ships will finally be able to bomb their territories without fear of a seemingly indestructible facility. The rebels will track us down of high priority now since the destruction of the Odin. Liktov needs you as well. Ah, so there might still be more missions ahead for us. Which is rather exciting. Christ! You're some sort of god, aren't you? Every mission we've sent you on, you've come back alive and stronger. The chances of surviving... What the fuck? Not sure what you do with Liktov, but how in God's name do you manage this? You're powerful. Maybe even too powerful. Aw, oh, shucks, Sarge. You give me too much credit. Before we wrap things up, let's go see if there is, in fact, anything else for us to do here. Since unless I'm mistaken, I think that's the final campaign mission for now. All right, Liktov, what do you got for me? I've got another mission for you. This one isn't going to involve mercenaries or military invent- it <coughs> Excuse me. Let me try that again. This one isn't going to involve mercenaries or military intervention, so it, be the so it should be easy for you. I'll need you to gather some items first. Oakley dokley. All right, you have the items. Well, that was convenient. You'll be doing the right thing. It might not be related to the war. This gang needs to be stopped. Just follow my orders. I'm going to spoof the gang's IFF and disguise as one of them. Once we're close, you grapple under their ship and cut the head off of the Lukovets. We're ready to head off? Grappling hook recommended. Not just yet. Also, I think he's giving us voxels as a reward, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video. Thank you.